What is going on guys? How are you all doing? Finally, I am getting this Spider-Verse Team Up Issue 3 review out to you guys. I know it's been a few days and I know it's horrendously late, but without further ado, I'm not going to say anything else. Let's just get into it. Okay, so the issue starts with Superior Spider-Man arguing with 616 Spider-Man and Black Widow, aka Spider-Woman from the Ultimate Universe, and of course we have Spider-Punk there as well, and they have ag all agreed, after quite a, a bit of an argument, to go after Khan. Now, as you can see on screen, Khan is about to kill another Spider-Man, and it is actually Spider-Man Aunt May. Now, in my opinion, I don't actually like the look of Spider-Woman or Spider-Aunt May in this instance. She looks... I don't even like her costume. She has like a skirt on or something. Don't make sense. But then again, so does Spider-Gwen, kind of, so... Maybe it's just because Aunt May is like 90. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so just before Khan is about to kill Aunt May, he, a bunch of Spider-Men, like Spider-Woman and 616 Spider-Man and Spider-Punk and all that, all jump through the portal and save her from being killed. Now, as you notice there, Khan kind of hesitated to kill Aunt May because she actually stepped forward and said, kill me now if it means my family is going to be safe. And of course, Khan hasn't had you know, uh, a role model to look up to. So, you know, like Khan's father, Solus, he was actually a bit of an idiot. And of course, he wasn't very nice. And that's all Khan wants. He only wants a family that loves him. And he just wants to be brought back into the family. And in order for him to get brought back into his family of the Inheritors, he needs to kill Spider-Men. And that is why he's on like this rampage of killing Spider-Men and stuff like that. But Spider-Woman and Black Widow and uh, Spider-Man UK and Spider-Punk and all that. I'm not I don't know I actually know if it's 616 Spider-Man I think it's just Spider-Man UK that's here, but either way that shot right there of Spider-Man UK shooting his webs is just awesome And they are actually trying to recruit Khan onto the spider team Maybe to go ahead against the inheritors and I thought that was awesome because I, I, Just the idea of I've kind of had this theory in my head the entire time that maybe Khan was going to maybe risk his life against Marlon to help save 616 spider-man or something like that that's my opinion but as you can see khan has only just discovered that his family lied to him all of these centuries he's literally been killing spider-man for about 700 years i swear to god and he has only just found out that it was all a lie and his family actually told him that that was predestined for him to go and kill these spider-men when really they just lied to him and really you create your own destiny pretty much and I think it's really interesting this because I think Khan is really touched by the behavior of the Spider-Men because they actually offered up their life force in order to help Khan survive. Now, Khan is probably a little bit confused about this because he has killed thousands or millions of Spider-Men throughout every single dimension possible. And even now, the Spider-Men will still like help Khan after all he's done, all of the like death he's caused and everything. And they will still go out of their way to help him. And I think that is awesome. And actually, Khan has now been recruited. But, of course, we actually go over to a different story now. Which is with Spider-Girl, a.k.a. May Parker. And she's actually the sister of uh, Benjamin Parker, the little baby Sion. And, of course, Uncle Ben actually goes after her. She's starting to have, like, a little bit of a hissy fit. And, to be honest, I think she's just overreacting. She's becoming one of them characters that kind of gets a bit of an... You know, a bit annoying. A bit like Skylar out of Breaking Bad. You know, like where eventually she just becomes really, really annoying. She's becoming like that. And she keeps saying how her Peter Parker, her dad, was the one true Spider-Man. And I don't think she understands that all of them are Peter Parker. But of course I do know that she actually says that later on in the comic. But her and Uncle Ben actually start fighting. And it's actually really interesting to see Uncle Ben start flipping around and actually doing better than Spider-Girl. It's just awesome to see it. And even Spider-Girl has some awesome tactics here with weapons and stuff like that, you know, different web shooters and stuff. But as you can see, the wall that she actually punched actually caused radioactive spiders because if you remember, this universe that they are on has actually been completely covered with radiation. So they're in this like bunker and these spiders that have actually come through the wall have actually been transformed and mutated because of the radiation on that earth and it's actually made them bigger and a lot more like venomous and poisonous and stuff like that than usual i mean look at a radioactive spider that bit peter parker it gave him superpowers so imagine these spiders that have been like in radiation for ages just gonna they're going to be pretty deadly. And as you can see there, Uncle Ben is flipping upside down and it is awesome. He's actually walking on the ceiling, I think. I don't think he's flipping upside down. But 
Either way, it's awesome and Spider-Girl actually has that magnetising power where she can magnetise her webs and stuff like that. And Uncle Ben tries to say, if you just try and stay here, maybe you can be safe. And Spider-Girl is just absolutely hooked on killing Deimos and of course Deimos is the person that killed her father, Peter Parker, and killed her mother, Mary Jane, and of course stole her brother, the Scion. And it is pretty awesome now you see where it says there spider-verse team up featuring a spider girl reunion and it's got like a blanked out silhouette on the cover i don't actually know who that was was that supposed to be uncle ben or was that supposed to be khan i have no idea it doesn't look like khan so yeah but either way i'm gonna give this issue an 8 out of 10 guys i thought that art was absolutely phenomenal on the uh, you know the first story with uh, khan and spider uk and all that that was awesome and I actually liked like the little bit of a cameo of Aunt May being uh, Spider-Woman or whatever. That was awesome as well. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And guys, again, sorry for this video being so late. I've just been a little bit busy. But yeah, so guys, I'm going to have to wrap this video up now. So make sure you go to the link in the description to my Facebook page. I actually preview all of the future comics, mainly the ones that are coming up. So you'll get a preview of the Amazing Spider-Man issue 14 before it's even released and stuff like that, which is awesome. And of course, you get information on whether my video is going to be up on time, what reviews coming first and all that. And it's going to be awesome. So guys, make sure you go to the link in the description to go to my Facebook page, my Twitter, my Instagram and all of that good stuff. And last but not least, make sure you hit the like button on this video and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.